What's up everyone, Karu here, and yes, I got my ass whooped. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a quick match recap so I can show Mr. Cash kicking my butt. Then I have a couple notes from the match from rewatching and obviously being a few days removed from it. Then I have some lessons from the match because obviously we always have to learn from tough losses. And by the way, shout out to Trey from Winners Only Tennis. Trey flew out to Columbus and spent the entire week with me just following me around, recording practices, recording matches. He got to experience a week on tour. He's gonna have some great content on his channel. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Make sure you go subscribe to Winners Only Tennis. I wouldn't have any of this footage without him, so let's help him. Let's get him to 10,000 subscribers ASAP. I'll leave a link down below, winners only tennis. And while you are down there, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and use all the links down below. We have the Element link, K-Pro, K-Pop, Improve. We got everything down there. It truly helps us if you use the links down below, Tennis Warehouse as well. But let's start with the match recap. The match started perfectly normal. I held the first game and then had a few break points on his serve. Uh, on the second game, I didn't end up breaking. I made some questionable decisions there <laughs> with shot selection. Uh, but overall, I'm happy with just putting pressure on guys. Even if I don't break, uh, just make it hard for them to hold. I then didn't play a very good service game. I did not serve well in this match. It's something we're gonna talk about uh, later in the video. But I wasn't too worried about it. I felt like I was returning well and I was gonna have my chances to break. I was serving down one three and we played this old super long game, just back and forth, add, deuce, add, deuce. Uh, saved some break points, ended up holding serve. And then at 3-2, we played another long game. I had a bunch of break points. I ended up not converting. Mentally, that kind of bothered me. I was having a lot of chances, was, was kind of always losing the close games. Mentally, I went away for a bit, got broken, and I lost 6-2 very quickly. That bad mental state kind of carried over into the second set. Um, again, I was serving so poorly that I was creating I was then created a lot of pressure on myself to hit just kind of perfect shots from the back, but I couldn't get any momentum going. I kept losing close games and all of a sudden I was already down 4-0. So 6-2, 4-0, you're basically ready to buy your flight home. So down two breaks, but I was able to crawl back all the way through 4-3. Uh, he was still serving with one break, but that was like the only time I was able to string together a few good games. But at 4-3, you know, pressure is on. You, you're just kicking the crap out of me and then now it's a bit closer. Um, and I wanted that momentum. And on that 4-3 game, the ref made some obscenely bad calls. And I just allowed that to really bother me again and the holding serve at 5-3. And I just, I wanted that game of 5-3 to just put the pressure on him to serve it out and I just didn't, just serve back all week long and end up, you know, getting broken one more time. That was, that was my fate there, sealed 6-2, um, 6-3 loss very quickly. And before we continue, shout out to today's video sponsor, Element. 
I love these things. I take them to every term and it helped me survive a three hour match without cramping. Element is a tasty electrolyte like drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means a lot of salt and no sugar. When you sweat, the primary electrolyte lost is sodium. Athletes can lose up to seven grams per day. When sodium is not replaced, it's common to experience muscle cramps and fatigue. So that's when Element comes in with its science-backed electrolyte ratio. So many people are using these Olympic athletes, NBA players, NHL players, NFL players, tennis players, but also everyday moms and dads and exercise enthusiasts. You guys know it by now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets for free with any Element order. Get yours at drink element.com slash my tennis HQ to do is only available through my link again that's drink lmnt.com slash my tennis HQ don't miss out get yours right now link is in the description now that I've had a few days to kind of think about the match and rewatch it as well I have a few thoughts number one cap off to cash he played a really good match he executed his game plan very well I, I watched it again and kind of didn't realize what he was trying to do it. That's why I'm not posting the entire match because I don't want you, you know, I don't want people scouting now anymore. But he did play an awesome match and he played very well in key moments. Like I lost something, I think it was something like nine out of 11 close games. I was always kind of there. That was the frustrating part. I felt I was, I was in the games, the service games, the return games, but I, I just couldn't get over the hump. Um, and he kept coming up with like great shots, um, com coming in and doing all this kind of things uh, and important points. So, you know, nothing you can do. You lose a lot of close games and the guy executes better. Just, but when observing from my side, there's a couple of things. Number one is very simple. I served like shit. And that was kind of a theme all week. My first round, I served below 50% for serves. In this match, I served 38% for serves. Um, and you're not gonna win a match serving 38% for serves. It's just not gonna happen. What are you working on today? <sighs> serving, which has been bad. Everything else feels <laughs> pretty good. The serving hasn't been that great. And I can't really pinpoint what was happening. It was just the conditions, playing indoors. Uh, it, it almost felt like the net was like a mile away from me and I was just kind of hitting into the net and then I had to hit up on the first serve. I can't, I can't really explain it, it was just like visually, I, I never like found it. I've been very used to this year, I think for the first time in my career, <laughs> to have my serve bail me out of a lot of times. I think I, I have a pretty solid serve nowadays, I get a lot of free points. Um, and if I'm serving well in a high percentage first serves, I could have changed a little bit, maybe served in volley but you're just missing too many first serves to even um, give yourself the chance. So just kind of not having to serve backing me up, um, it was just very frustrating. And I think that frustration then boiled over into like my mental state. Um, again, in the first round, I was able to figure it out uh, and find a way to, to win it. Uh, but this time, maybe I was a bit mentally tired from that third hour, three hour battle and I was trying to you know juice myself up somehow but in this match I just really struggled um, I was just getting overly frustrated wasn't able to um, again be, be focused be, cl be clear with what I was doing and 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 being in that mental state makes it very difficult to win a match and finally just a couple lessons here from the week because we always have to learn from our tough losses mentally i wasn't able to deal with the poor performance on my serve again that created so much pressure on on my ground strokes to perform like at the highest possible level that it, you almost like tense up you don't allow yourself uh, to swing out and just kind of let go. But the biggest issue with that is, is that then my brain was so busy with that that I wasn't able to clearly see what was going on in the match. Now, watching it back and kind of noticing what he was trying to do, um, there, there were ways that I could have turned the rallies around. Again, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because, you know, I gotta can let all the secrets out. But even if he plays a great tactical match, I still need to try to figure it out, how to turn the rallies around, how to turn the patterns around, um, how to throw the pressure on the other side, and, and I definitely couldn't do it. 
this time. And obviously I talked about this in the channel recently in a video that I said, serve and return the two most important shots. Start the point with quality. This entire tournament, I did not start the point with quality and couldn't really find the range on the serve. Uh, that creates a ton of pressure on the rest of your game. I returned well, I didn't serve well, and you have to have both, uh, especially at this level. But all in all, it's past, gotta move on. I'm gonna play some bad matches. Um, I'll take maybe one really bad match uh, all year long versus you know the other 40 that I played. You learn from it and you move on. Thank you everyone for the support all year long, pushing me into playing pros again. I'm um, having a great time with this and I'm expecting a great 2024. And thanks again, Trey, for filming all of that. We have so much footage from the week that I wouldn't have otherwise if he wasn't there. So make sure you go subscribe to his channel, link down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.